Welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. I'm here with the world champion of the $5,000 Novice Division, and that's Casey Crouch, from, a trainer from Texas. He won on Twistin' at the Roxy. Congratulations, Casey. Thank you very much. Now, it came down to the wire. Um, it was only just decided. You came out on top. How does that feel? Uh, pretty amazing. A few tears, a bit of laughter. This is obviously a win that means a lot to you. You bet. You bet. Very much. Okay. Now, you were leading coming into this um, event by $600. What was your game plan? Um, hey, the game plan is always go show the best you can show and let the chips fall where they will. Try to make the best run you can make. Um, it's not about the other person that's involved. I mean, it's about you, uh, the horse, and the cow becoming one. Uh, it's... I mean, go make the best run you can make and let it fall where it will. So tell us what happened in the first go-round. Actually, Dusty went first. That's who we were kind of running with there. And uh, he went first in the first go-around. He marked a 20 and a 222, I believe. And I come back and, you know, I, I wasn't. I wasn't safety and up. I mean, it was just, you know, go make the best run you can make. And... Uh, Mark 16. When that finished up, uh, that put Dusty in the lead. Uh, That's Dusty Nelson. Dusty Nelson, yes, and Rudin Itchy. And I mean, we flopped back and forth the last two months of the year, you know, from weekend to weekend. I mean, I'd go ahead, he'd go ahead, you know. So I mean, it was a lot of fun, and I helped him, he helped me. I mean, and that's that's what it's all about. But so anyway, back to the finals here. We. Uh, Come into the second day, and Dusty was in the lead uh, by $82, so it was pretty close. <laughs> Everyone loves a good competition. Oh, yeah, you bet. And, uh, you know, I mean, he cheered me on, I cheered him on. We both helped each other, and it, as it turns out, uh, in the second go, I marked 14. I went the first today, and then Dusty was later. And uh, he had a little tough luck and ended up losing the cow. And that put me back in the lead again. So I believe when you were getting the 214, um, during it, your wife thought, oh, well, we get reserve. She kind of, you know, went about her business to do some other things before coming back to, to cheer on Dusty. Right. And then realized when Dusty lost a cow that you guys actually had it. Is that right? Well, when I marked a 14, you know, I was good with reserve. I mean, I and and Dusty's a good showman. Um, we, uh, you know, we showed back and forth all year long. So I mean, you know, I knew that I knew that he could do it, and uh, and I was going to help him do it. I mean, I wanted him to do it, and so um, when he comes in, first cow. Uh, gets along okay and the second cow runs over him I really didn't think at that point I, I I really didn't think it was conceivable yet I mean none of us was kind of I mean he had to you know he had to go out for me to go back to the lead and you know and you don't wish that on anybody and by all means I mean I'm you know I was right there trying to help him beat me and uh, so when he went out you know we really didn't uh, it didn't click, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't registering that what was possibly happening. So it obviously means a lot to you this win, um, as you were describing. Um, you know, the nature of the sport is that you are just competing against the cow, really, because you're all helping each other out. You've been doing it all year. Um, so, what does this say about the sport and um, and what this means to you this win? It's probably the most humbling sport that I've ever been involved in, and I've I've done quite a bit, but. Uh, you know, just like today. I mean, one day a hero, next day zero. You know, I mean, and it and it has to do with the cows and the animals. Uh, and like you said, I mean, we all help each other. It's kind of a big family sport. I mean, that's you know, we've we've got to have help. Uh, and and everybody's cheering for each other. I mean, it's you know, it's it's not about one person. It's a team effort. And I've got a. Uh, I've got a good team behind me. Um, well, let's finish up by telling, telling us what you're going to do with this horse next year. 
Uh, Joe and Stacy Robinson own her, and uh, she's going to show her uh, in the 50 next year, and you know we'll be going again. Same deal. And <laughs> excuse me. Um, I think, uh, and I'll probably show her a little bit in the open here and there, you know, just kind of help keep her good for her. And uh, just go back to going again. Same deal. That's what we do. Congratulations. Thank you, Casey. Thank you very much.